hello and welcome to another blender tutorial brought to you by Lois. Uh, today i'm going to show you how to model a hand inside blender so let's jump right into it i'm going to have my screencast turned on so you can follow along in case i get carried away and start using shortcuts but i'm going to try as much as possible to be as slow so that you guys can follow along especially this will be more useful to beginners so you can just look here for the sh um, shortcuts in case i use that so we're just doing basic modeling because this is quite straightforward. We're starting from a box and straight to the fingers, uh, to the hands. So you can probably get this done within less than 10 minutes. So let's go. So I added a box. So you can do that by going to add the box. Of course, where the cursor is placed, that's where it's going to appear. So I have my, my box here. And basically, I, you of course, you want to use reference so you can get the scale because you can usually get the scale of the palms quite wrong. And usually, you tend, people tend to make it bigger or longer than it usually is. Um, so you, with reference, you kind of get the scale, which looks great. And also for the depth of the hands, it's also not so big, especially depending on what you're looking for. If you're going for a bigger character, then probably you want to get something thicker. Um, but this I'm going for kind of cartoony character, so just scale and kind of get a rough shape of the hands okay and so next we just add an edge loop here and select this part extrude it and rotate it okay and then we'll go to this view and also rotate it this angle so we have it looking like this okay so at this point um, you can scale this slightly because this is where the thumb is going to um, be generated from um, next, so add like um, depending on the amount of fingers. So if you're trying to create cartoon fingers, usually it's like three. Um, but let's go for something realistic. So four fingers. Um, so one, two, three, four. Okay. So now we'll just select. Um, I'm switching my um, selection process. That's vertex, edge, and face with a shortcut which I created. If ever you guys want to know how to create like specific shortcuts to, to speed up your workflow, you let me know in the comments. But I have that, so that's why I'm easily switching. But uh, you could switch here, so vertex, edge, um, face, and most of the shortcuts like W or special menu, you can actually access it here and in these parameters here. So like extrude, um, extrude, offset, edge, extrude here. So if you select the face, you can actually extrude from here, or you could just use the shortcut E, which is even more intuitive. Okay, um, so for this faces, so we we'll just like one, two, three, four, and if you hold, like I said, E is for extrude, but if you hold down Alt E, it will allow you to it will bring some options for you. So I'm just gonna do that Alt E, and we have extrude faces, which is the default. But what we're looking for is extrude individual faces. So I'm just gonna select this, and it does that. Um, so if we move this, we can see it has done that already. So I'm just gonna select this faces pack and hit. I in for insert and so you can also access all of this here but um, as you can see here insert faces but anyways so I'm just gonna insert the faces and grab my move tool and just pull it out to be the fingers okay so at this point now basically what I'm going to do is just eyeball it and make sure that the length of the finger is quite realistic as the palm. There will be some little tweaking later when we have the subdivisions. But for now, it's just trying to get the basic shape. Um, so you don't want it to be too long because the human fingers are not so long like you might be expecting when you're trying to model it. So you want to be conscious about that. Okay, so something like this works for me. And I can now grab this face and just extrude it so it's practically um, the thumbs and here we can grab this and pull it in slightly so we could extrude it and scale this on the Y so we kind of have the hands so there's a nice tool I don't know if it's enabled by default um, but if you hit W so loop tools um, for you to have this loop tools you probably need to go to your preference and search for loop tools okay so this comes with blender so you have to enable it um, this brings some more functionality into the blender modeling system where um, if you hit w you can bring out the loop tools and we're going to make this a circle 
it's going to convert any selected shape into a circle so we're just going to scale this in the y-axis kind of match the shape we're going for and we can extrude this so this is the hand and briefly you can select everything and hit relax so we can find it right now let's i think in vertex we can probably relax it there okay and see you get the hand already um let's just adjust the scaling some more like i said this is not the final it's just the base shape and if we add subdivision you can see we already have like a hand shape and we can delete this and all we just need to do now is adjust it till we have something that looks um, perfect we can add some more edge loops here for detailing we can grab go to the sculpt mode and with the move brush we can now move things around we need more edge loops here so add that this is a quick way of creating a very low poly hand and for this we can use the inflate to adjust that so all you just do here is just tweak it to match the shape which you're finally going to end but you already get the base form and a nice topology to go with for a low um, low poly hand so I'll just inflate it some more by the end we'll try to pose it too um, okay some more edge loops here so okay for it to look more realistic we need to scale down some parts so scale down this scale so this is the middle finger this one so this will be smaller scale this down and we'll scale this down too okay so we have it looking nice and we can adjust this as needed and at this point we can actually go in and start adjusting them to be closer because the fingers are not so apart as you might think um, so just bring them closer some more basically you have the shape now it's just um, I did that wrong but anyway you kind of get the gist uh, we can just inflate this to achieve that too So this is a very quick way of getting your hand just in a few minutes. It doesn't have to take so long. And we have nice topology going for it. And what's just left is just tweaking it till we have something that looks good. And you can add like more polygon, more needed edge loops as needed by shift, hitting shift R to just push things in place. And make everything to form actually right now i'm not working with reference but refer using reference will definitely even push it further um, to get like a hand looking nice so basically what i'm doing now is just tweaking it and you can spend as much time tweaking it till you get a very nice shape which you're happy with but for most part you're done just getting the overall look of the hand with very nice topology um so let's just go ahead and pose this slightly We'll do like a peace sign. Better that I'll just rig it. So top view. Add an amateur single. So I have a lot of shortcuts just placed around to help me really work fast. So just gonna set this to volume and enable it. So now I can just extrude this easily. And finally, this one. 
I think we need to adjust this position. Okay, so we can just easily bind this automatic weight. It's always good to put your subdivision after the amateur. I will do preserve volume and yeah, other stuff. And now we have our hand rigged. So let's quickly pause it for peace sign. Uh, rotate Y negative 90 degrees. Rotate Z negative 90. Forgot how to peace sign L, um, anyways. Probably them to say fuck you. Um, okay, so it's this two fingers. Okay, there's a trick that if you hold down, if you click on the period key and select individual origin, and let's set this to normals, we can actually rotate this and get a nice curl with all the bones nicely. Okay, so let's do that for this too. So this is a piece and we have our thumbnail for the tutorial. Okay, so depending on what you want to do, because you want to spend time to kind of get the shape nice. But yeah, so that will be it guys. Thank you for watching. This was just a fun exercise. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more stuff like this, more quick ways of doing things, let me know. I have a lot to share and they'll be coming soon through. Just let me watch you, know what you want to see. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye bye for now. See you next time.